However, there is some disagreement about his appearance. Most mainstream media portrays Hannibal as a white European man, but he was actually an African. According to genetic and anthropological analysis of Punic populations, the majority of them clustered with other African groups. ancient North Africa has always been a point of controversy. People frequently use today's population to depict ancient populations of the area. Numerous studies, however, have shown that this is not accurate. Too many changes occurred over the millennia. Scientists discovered that EM81, the most common Y chromosome sequence in North Africa today, has a very recent origin. It first appeared around 2000 years ago and has spread rapidly since then. This means that the area was previously inhabited by a different type of population, most likely a blacker population. 
The current population arose primarily as a result of the Arab expansion following the total destruction of Carthage. After examining Phoenician skulls, Swiss anthropologist Eugene Pittard concluded that they were mostly dolichocephalic and prognathic. Features primarily carried by black Africans. Carthage was thus a black civilization. Furthermore, some artifacts suggest that he was a black man. The Trasimeno coin is what it's called. 
On one side, it has the prognathic face of a black man, and on the other, a war elephant.
we used some of these coins as a reference to recreate what we believe to be his face. Here is the result. souls. The Themehu, or Indo-Europeans, were also created by Sekid, who also avenged their souls. has the prognathic face of a black man. the Nile Valley, within the Nile Quarter, within super-Saharan Africa, there have always been people who were lighter skin and straighter hair from 60,000 years ago. Always. They're not new. That's my whole point. <laughs>